So who do we have here making the bacon? I'm Echo Rudd. I'm Kit Rudd's daughter. Um, and I'm just out here cooking some bacon. <laughs> I bet you've had some experience doing this. Yes. You... <laughs> Anytime my dad comes up with a crazy idea, I try to support him 100% in any way I can. And this is how I'm supporting him. Is we brought together a breakfast. Me and Lindy planned it because she's one heck of a cook. And I cook with her on the ranch sometimes. And so I knew she was the lady that I wanted to partner up with. But um, when she, when we first started talking about it, she was like, well, we need to get some money together. And within a split second, God told me, I will provide. And so immediately I said, I got it. Let's just wait till Thursday. I get paid on Wednesday. I got it. And Lindy posted it on Facebook that night. And we had some donations. And then we had some bigger donations. All of our sausage was donated by a lady. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just got a 20 here and there. And we're about to feed 75 people on straight donations. It, not one cent came out of me, mine or Lindy's pocket. And so when God says that he will provide, he means it. He actually so does. Whenever, that just, I think that just shows that this isn't just for something to do. This is a ministry as well. Like, we're we're showing these people God's love for them and that they are worth it. Like they're worth us coming out here. And I think that's what God's point was for us today. Have you spent any time out here during the day or even slept overnight? Do you have, have any concerns not slept about overnight? I Do you have concerns about that? Well I was last year when my dad did it, I was super, super nervous because he didn't have a camp like this. He was just sleeping wherever. But when he made it through that week and made such a big difference in the way people thought about the homeless. After that, I'm always 100% behind him. With his ride to Dallas, I was kind of sketchy, but he made it and he made a big difference. That's for dang sure. And so when he said he was doing another week on the streets, I was 100% for it. I see. And over here, we've got some pancakes on a griddle. And I think you have a story to tell behind a griddle problem, don't you? Yes, sir. And who am I talking to? Uh, My yes. name is Lindy Willis. I'm Kit's friend. I'm also a ranch cook. They dang good one. They stole my griddle the night before. When we were packing up to come out here, we realized my griddle had been taken out of my garage. So we're improvising and using the grill today. You think the beach is And out? my walk, my pan. And this looks like it. This doesn't look like a store-bought device. No. <laughs> Can you tell me a little story about it? Yeah, a friend of mine who owns West Third Pond made it for me because I'm a cook. There's an L actually welded on the bottom underneath it. I see it incorporates some horseshoes and uh -huh. maybe a, uh, a plow disc. And a tractor disc. Yes, sir. All right. Wow. Groovy, huh? Yes. We love it, right, Jennifer? Yes. Is there anything special about these pancakes this morning? Is it a special Nothing recipe? Nothing special. Or? No, sir. A lot of love. A lot of love. I suspect you this much. I was going to ask you that next. <laughs> you have a lot of butter and a lot of syrup. <laughs> well, they're looking pretty good. What? So it doesn't splash on you? If you stick it in like this, you can take it go away from you. So if you're scared of cat. Do you want more details? No, oh, he's such a jerk. He can be. Yes, yes. Like, she literally walked up here and then walked off. What am I supposed to do, chase her? No. There it is.
fuck with you. You already know. And your money. Yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that would have come from Yikes. Yep, I knew that would come from Yeah, congrats, girl. Oh, 